Hello there Internet, uh, Aviation today here with our very first model view of the NG Models 1200 CRJ200 for Delta connections in the Carlos and Molson livery. So the model we have here today is an NG Models CRJ-200 in the Carlos and Molson livery. This model was released in their February 2019 releases for $65.95 as the MSRP. However, you can find this at websites and retailers for around $56. The box is nicely and colorfully decorated and is fairly normal. It is a small box, about the size of a medium 1400 scale model aircraft box, but that is fine. The model does have an interesting thing with the foam where there is a missing insert in the bottom that's probably to save a little bit of foam and to save just a bit of money but uh, that's fine other than that the packaging is good and normal this aircraft is N779CA or November 779 Charlie Alpha it is a CRJ-100ER NG models did get that wrong uh, they're using the CRJ-200 mold for both the CRJ-100s and 200s as uh, Bombardier built these as essentially the same aircraft. Uh, the only real difference that I know of is essentially the range. The 200 has a bit more range than the 100. And the easiest way to tell the difference between the two is between the engines. Uh, this aircraft is equipped with GE CF-34-3A1s, while if you had the CRJ-200 it would have GE CF-34-3B1 engines. Uh, the aircraft was delivered on the 27th of April 1999 to Calm Air, who is the operator of this aircraft and still is operated with Delta Airlines as the livery. But uh, the crews and pilots and that sort of thing are operated by Calm Air. However, when Calm Air went out of business, this aircraft became a SkyWest aircraft in October 2011 and was repainted into Delta's current livery and is still SkyWest to this day. The aircraft has a 50 passenger layout and was all economy class when Calm Air operated now, but there are currently two first class seats on the SkyWest configuration. The model is very nicely detailed, particularly on the front cone. As you can see right here, this model has a great amount of details for the cone area, uh, including the radar systems and that sort of thing. You can see the Calm Air titles right up front. Um, you have the L1 emergency door, the Delta titles, the wing emergency door, and if you go down the lean edge of the wing, you go to the winglet, which is really nicely done on this model. NG Models did an outstanding job with their winglet. They made it really nice and thin. Uh, thinner than any other winglet I've seen on any 1200 or 1400 scale model. This is excellently done. And as far as I can tell, it's also not that flimsy. Uh, you can see saw the inside of the wing there, winglet there. Um, and this winglet's really nicely done. NG Models has knocked out of the park as far as winglet detail goes. The engines are also nicely detailed and they have like a little silver metal finish to sew off the engine color. Uh, the tail section. Um, the paint on this model is really good. Uh, the horizontal the vocal stabilizers look really good. The back of the engines look also really nice, as well as the back of the wing. And then this side of the aircraft um, also looks really good as well. Uh, the gears look very good. Go down to that really nice winglet again, it looks very good. Best I've seen on any regional jet model from any manufacturer. The top side detail is, is good on the small, not quite as much as something like a Gemini Jets, but that is okay. Uh, you can see uh, an antenna, there are two antennas, one on the top and one on the bottom. Those are the only other separate detail parts I could detect. You got the escape hatch on the top of the aircraft and the wing detail looks very good. Engine detail is good. Uh, on the bottom, uh, the bottom is 
sparsely detailed compared to the top. But that is okay. I mean, you're not going to look at the bottom of the model too often. Alright, we're going to see how this model looks on a stand. Um, I'm going to bring in a JC Ween stand. Uh, it's the same as a Gemma Jet stand, but the JC Ween's one, so it's essentially really the same thing. Uh, it looks very good on the stand, and it fits in the stand hole. It, the hole that they include for this model is slightly bigger than the stand hole, uh, so it does move around a little bit, as you can see there, but uh, it fits in quite well. And so for those who are interested in uh, CRJ-200, NG Models offers a really nice selection of them. I highly recommend this product um, in any of the liveries. They make really good liveries. Uh, the product has very good quality. And, um, I mean, it's not the most detailed. Not as detailed as something like a Gemma Jets model or something like that. But well, this detail is just fine. I mean, it's just fine for people who want to buy an accurate CRJ-200. If you would like to read a written review of this model, uh, go check out Aviation News Today. Uh, you can sign up for the Aviation News Today newsletter in the description below. I'll have a link to the sign up form. Uh, there we do Aviation News, model views, trip ports, and pretty much everything aviation related. So thank you for watching and God bless you.